Good morning to you all. Today I would like to highlight and speak about one autoimmune condition that is ankylosing spondylitis. A kind of spondylitis where the spine and joints are involved. This is an autoimmune condition mostly found in uh, developed countries like US and in India also we have a good number of percentage more than 1% of the population suffers with this kind of spondylopathy. This is called as seronegative spondylopathy. It generally starts in two types either in the form of the spine initially or in the peripheral form where it can involve further peripheral joints like hip joint, knee joints, sacral leg joints and then reaches to the spine. When it starts with the spine the severity is not very bad it may progress over a period of long time. The real involvement takes place in the collagen type of two tissue which connects the spine each other by ligaments and muscle tendons. Here usually the antibodies are against these uh, collagen type of two where the inflammation is set in and fibrosis takes place. Normally what I have seen is that syndesmophyte formation stage comes in where the calcification of the spine takes place and person reaches to a stage what you call Dr. what you can call Marshall it Trent like calling. now where I was to, uh, the syndesmoid formation takes place in the ligaments which are connecting the spine in the joint capsules where calcification is deposited these are called the syndesmoid this stage where you uh, really enters in the stage what you call as an uh, calcification of the spine that is a bamboo spine where the joints become stiff, calcified, no movement takes place. At the same time, you will find the spine becomes stiff and absolutely mobile. A person takes normally easy going position with the small curvature or uh, uh, anterior abduction, uh, anterior bend in the spine, fixed neck with little bit extension in the neck and the joints become fixed in the external rotation and uh, abduction position where the patient is unable to have a sleeping position as well as walking position or sitting position also. This is a stage where life becomes really painful and disturbed physically as well as emotionally. The disease progression leads to an disability where you become bedridden. Now in proven therapies present conditions we don't have any kind of treatments by which we can stop the disease. What I have seen in the current scenario with the proven therapies, the best treatment would be an monoclonal antibodies or anti-TNF alpha, which gives a temporary relief to the patient. It doesn't give a permanent relief to the patient. It cannot stop the progress of the disease. The disease keeps on progressing intermittently. You take the call of this medicine. At the same time, the cost of the medicine is very prohibitive. It is in lakhs of rupees and it doesn't solve the problem. It makes only symptomatically to some extent pain free for you, but the moment doesn't return back to you. Now, what I have seen in such conditions where the proven therapies have not worked well, the best part remains what else we can think of doing for this. The regenerative therapy or stem cell therapy, particularly mesenchymal stem cells, have proven to be a, the best treatment for ankylosing spondylitis like conditions. Here I have seen the properties of mesenchymal stem cells which are very important to be noted. One is anti-inflammatory effect, second is regenerative effect that is uh, differentiation and duplication of the cells and third most important immune modulation effect. They do modulate the immune system and stop the disease progression further ahead and the pain factor and stiffness reverses back. Apart from these the mesenchymal stem cells if properly combined with the healing factors as well a combination taken from a mixed cells from the bone marrow if we can use it along the spinal line in the spinal disc along the spinal disc we can mobilize even the spine at our stemarx center we have done number of patients more than 50 patients of ankylosing spondylitis who have gone to the stage where bamboo spine was there and they have reversed back with the neck movements at least 60% back of the neck movements the lateral movement as well as extension flexion movements of the neck and circumduction movement of the neck as well the flexibility of the chest where, breathing, where the breathing will improve the chest expansion and person comes back up normal chest breathing whereas the spine becomes flexible back to normal at the same time we can reverse the disease in the hip joints also by using these kind of stem cell therapies, intra-articular treatment of these kind of stem cells will mobilize the hip joints as well as cervical joints and stop the disease. I wish this treatment could be adapted by those people who are suffering with 
alkaline qualities of the progressive disease and reverse the disease back to normal or at least 70% whereby they can come to the normal life. I wish uh, good luck for all those patients who are suffering with ankylosing plantis and opt the newest therapy that is stem cell therapy for ankylosing plantis. Thank you.